he 25. hit against that dire bat. So the 25 will hit. So the way the way Rivera Gamble works, uh, Don, if you can hit the button, because I know you have a button that tells it, what happens is when you action point, you immediately say whether you're going to gamble or not. If you do choose to take the gamble on the action point attack, if you miss that attack, you grant CA. If you hit, you get an extra basic. So you don't roll the basic first. You just decide before whether yeah. you're going to try to get the yeah. basic. Um, uh, excuse my sneak. I'm oh, sorry. Um, so when that's... I used my action point, you all could have used the second win for free. I... Because of the hero's armor plus one. I do not think that that is true. Oh, okay. By the way, on that MBA, I'm going to try to make that a hit. I'm going to do a rhyme of the blood seeking blade. Okay. So here we go. I do not have CA. Ah, a miss. Okay. So nothing about it happens. It's just a miss. Okay, so for my attack, it was 34 damage. Yep. And he looks extremely damaged. Well, that kind of ruined my plans. And I'm not sure if anyone else is going to attack it. And if they are, they are sure not going to getting attack advantage, combat advantage. So I still have a minor, though. But I'm done. The short answer to your question, Tass, is yes. The long answer is ask me after class. Draco, you, it's your turn. You take ongoing five. Make a death saving throw. Uh, Shadow Bat is going to move down to here to move into flank. Yes, combat advantage either way. Yep. And he's going to try to pull down. Uh, so 18 versus uh, Fortitude. Uh, 18 hits, I'm prone. And then he's going to swing, so he's now uh, still in plus two. Uh, okay, 21 will miss. All right. That is it for the bat. Ukla, it is your turn. Did you make your saving throw last turn against your ongoing, by the way? I, got Sorry, I, on you. I, I rolled it. I didn't make it. So I'm going to roll for ongoing first. Hit it, and now I'll roll my death. Missed it. Yeah, so is that one or two fails for you? That's uh, one. One fail. This is the first turn. First roll. I went down last round. Okay. Uh, Basil, you're up. Okay. Um, so that dire bat is bloodied, or he's just damaged? Oh, sorry, he is bloodied. He is very much bloodied. Uh, Kuro, you want to take a chance at killing him with some CA? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Can uh, bet forever, right? Okay, so teleport here, and as part of that same one there, I will pixie dust her. And she will fly around and land wait, on wait, the wait, pole uh, here. I already have CA, man. Oh, you do? Oh, then never mind yeah, that. I don't have CA. N yeah, N never mind that whole moving business then. I don't need to do that. He already has CA. <laughs> uh, she will take her damage and then she'll teleport here. Uh, as a note, you can also give that, that move action. You can give Pixie Dust to, to Kuro for him to stand up. Uh, it's not a free move action. It's a, I get to let them fly for six squares. Correct. And he can choose to fly zero, and that just allows him to stand in a square. Same as standing up from prone, is you move zero and stand up. If that's okay, then I will give it to him. Nice. I float in the air really confused, and then I just do a somersault and put myself up. Yes. Uh, Ginger teleported to that square there to provide me with CA. And I will staggering note the dire bat. Uh, I believe that's a hit mm -hmm. for damage, and you get My to make turn. your attack there. For the uh, 30 meters CC, I believe that hits. Yep, and that will kill the bat. Oh. And nice. see there. Uh, you actually yeah. took the bat before the granite attack. <laughs> oh, sadness. I killed it with the four? Yeah, he had two hit points left. <laughs> oh, sad panda. Well, In this combat, case. you guys have killed three things at one hit point and one thing at two hit points. <laughs> we are lucky. Let's keep moving. Yeah, let's just keep moving. That, that'll be my turn there. 
All right. Um, so the only things on the board really are the uh, the swarm and the the death rattle at the bottom. Um, I think it's going to be pretty reasonable. You're going to be able to take them out, but we'll sort of see. I'm going to take one more round with my death rattle and buy it. Nahazar, while he's prone, 28, tw uh, 30 AC will hit. Yep. And Venom will be uh, 18, uh, 20 versus 42, which I believe will miss. It's not enough. <clears throat> so uh, you have 15 points of damage. And then I think it's fairly reasonable to assume that you guys can surround and pound the Swarm, who is currently at 13 hit points. And um, I just stand up and, like, mold down the Viper. Right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and call the combat here. Uh, you guys... Uh, one, both both monsters are very low health, and uh, only two people in your party are, are down, and neither one of them is in danger of dying. So, um, after uh, the combat, the first thing I want to do is rush out in front and try to get the light working. Okay. So Swarm dies, Viper dies. Um, if you so get I, just, I just want to point out they're more interested in the lights than in stopping my death. I mean, um, I'm not good at that. I'm sure there are. Yeah, very, I'm going to fly over and I will me. heal check. Oh, 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 pause, pause, pause. pause. Keep, put your characters back where they were. Because we are still in initiative order. I'm just calling the combat. So, uh, okay. uh, as the as the the waves are starting to, to be a little choppy outside, um, you can see little flashes starting to to uh, come up in the distance as you can hear. Heavy rain began to pound on the front of the deck. Uh, you hear uh, the sound of uh, thunder and a quick flash of lightning off in the distance. As the lightning bolt strikes, you see that you guys are very, very close to the docks uh, and coming in quite quickly. Um, the, the crew has mostly just been staying out of dodge for this whole thing, basically hiding. Uh, a couple of them have been swinging with their weapons, but not very effectively. Um, so the, the captain says, what are you waiting for, you miserable magnets? Get back to work! And starts kicking people on the thing. Uh, he kind of turns to one of you guys and says, uh, I know you're not sailors, but... He looks over at the dock, which is only about 100 yards away. Um, and starts yelling at people to start getting and doing things. So, um, you guys are headed into the dock right now, and you guys are coming in way too fast. Um... If you want to try to help to slow the ship or do other sorts of things, you can try to recover for a moment. By um, Basically, everyone's going to stabilize, so put yourselves at a hit point. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So everyone is conscious who is unconscious from the last battle is conscious at one hit point. Um, you've got a lot of things that you can possibly do, like uh, clearing the decks of some of the rubble and debris that's been kind of pushed around during the, during the fighting. You can help up in the riggings, uh, restore those, those uh, waning lights, might be able to help steer the ship and get the, the ship back into the right situation by helping uh, at the helm or the rudders. Um, there's a lot of magic that seems to be flying around right on the docks itself as there's some sort of combat going on that's almost impossible to see. Uh, Tassin, I'll send you a... Tassin is the only one I think who has dark vision. If anyone else does, please send me a message. And Tassin, I'm going to send you some extra information here in a minute. Um, or you could try to, uh, to help the wounded and help some of the sailors get up and about. Um, basically, this is going to be a modified skill challenge, so if you guys have some things that you feel fits better with what you would like to do, you can definitely do that. So, Nahazar, you are first. What are you doing to contribute to the ship not crashing and everyone dying? Okay, so I think that currently the more important thing is to halt the ship or slow it down, so I don't like focus my efforts on injured guys. I just like flex my muscles and I just try to help anybody like to, to I'm no expert in, in sailing so I do something uh, physical to like help slow the ship maybe hold something down maybe pull something I really close up the sails something. Uh, so yeah, athletics something like you can see the sailors kind of coming around they have the knowledge to do what needs to be done so if you will say hey what do you need me to do one of the sailors can direct you um, yeah, if it's some heavy lifting, I will try to do that with my athletics. I'm still in pretty re reasonable good shape after the fight. Oh yeah. I'm doing heavy lifting on the ship to slow it down, so I'm doing athletics. Alright. So... Do, 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 do. Yeah, you see the L, so there's easily hard DC. 
So you start putting things, and the sailors start moving around. And you just go around, and yank on a couple of cords, wrap them around places, and get things uh, quickly stowed. Tassin, you're up. All right, as movement action, I'll go over here, do the Titanic pose, and then with my standard action, I will pray to Kalandaran to show us guidance. Okay. Pray, pray. Eighteen. So, uh, kneeling down, you can feel, as you're saying the words to your god, that there are there's something kind of wrong, there's something very off here. Um, and another one of those thunderbolts kind of comes, lights up the, uh, the docks that are now even closer, and you can see the lightning bolt strikes what looks to be some sort of structure or shrine um, right on the, uh, the harbor, on the, on the wharf, um, and you get this intense uh, sense of dissatisfaction, uh, like a rival deity is, um, is uh, worshipped at that spot. I'm not going to make that take your standard action because it doesn't really do anything, um, other than just you saying prayers, um, if you want to like help the you know say prayers loud enough that like the sailors might be able to hear you and kind of have some of their hopes renewed, you can try to do that. Uh, sure, let's do that. Okay, so uh, the sailors kind of listen and see you kind of praying up near the front, and uh, take heart and continue doing what they're doing very quickly. Kuro, you're up. Uh, wait, I want to tell okay. everyone about what I saw. That there's a lot of fighting going on at the dock against creatures of the dark. That's it. Okay. Uh, question. Are we still bound by movement or are we not bound by movement? You guys are still bound by movement during the skill challenge. Okay. If we are still bound by movement, I cannot get to the um, to the main one right away, but I want to give us some vision, so I want to uh, move up to here and try to restore these lights. Okay. By text by dexterously uh, trying to fix the mechanism that those bats roughened them. Sure. Thievery, please. Okay. So you click the light back on. Dude. All right. And as a minor action, I'll turn into my animal for then. Draco, you're up. Draco? I didn't realize that he was alive again. I guess he'll he'll jump to one of the sides and start hauling rope and try and help. It's, I don't know. He was dead, now he's not. Good. Athletics. Okay, so you're jumping around helping things with athletics. Go ahead and use the check, please. I don't know. I gotta get a macro for those. You do have one for those. It's labeled skill checks. Oh yeah, baby. Um, so the 21 will make medium DC. So you kind of go around and help. It looks like most of the things that can be physically lifted on the ship have been physically lifted. Uh, the sailors kind of have a lot of the riggings in place and that sort of stuff. Uh, Ukla, you're up. Right, so is the ship the ship drifting? Is that what you said? No, the ship is the ship is moving very quickly through the water, going into the harbor a little bit too fast. Uh, all right, I, I I'm going to try to use perception to see if there's a, a reason for that that isn't that doesn't have to do with uh, like an una, there's an unnatural cause or uh, uh, I'd just like to determine it what. Why the ship is traveling so quickly? Did we just not slow down like we were supposed to because we were fighting? Or yeah, it's it's. I'm basically gonna tell you it's the latter. Oh, all right. So, uh, all right. Well, then I, I'm gonna. Uh, I'll use a nature check to see if I can determine if there's a way that we can uh, uh, slow the ship. Boy, I'm having a tough time with this one. Uh, so uh, at the beginning, uh, some of the options of helpful things you can do: you can clear the deck of some of the debris and help the sailors. Uh, help in the riggings. You can also uh, restore the lights. Um, you can uh, help with the rudder to help steer and ship the ship and slow things down. Um, there is a lot of magic. Right, I'll, on... I'll ask if there's anything I can do to help with the rudder then to, to uh, steer us the correct direction. 
Yes. Uh, you can either use uh, perception or nature or sh a pure strength check to, to try to wrench it into place. I used perception and got the uh, medium. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, the, the ship kind of turns and crashes in the waves a little bit uh, in the unruly surf right around the city itself. The water is, um, as it kind of sprays up, is all of a sudden very cold. Um, you get the sensation that the water around here is a little off. Basil, you're up. Um, yes, yeah, so... If I were to fly out here, I assume I can just stand on it normally because of my size. Sure. Okay. I will... Uh, would I be able to fix it with an arcana? I assume they're magical in nature, so I could, like, magic the shit out of it. Sounds good to me. Okay. I will fly out there. Ginger, um, as I fly away, I'll be like, go check on the girl. And she'll jump down and go running into here. Okay, so that happens. Okay, and uh, I'll do my arcana. Okay. Nail the hard DC. Yep. All right. So you guys start making your way into the port. Uh, complications. All right. As you guys are going in, uh, there's a, a sudden gust of wind comes in, tries to scatter people around. Uh, everyone, give me a acrobatic check, uh, medium DC acrobatic check. If you are tied to riggings or working on the ship. Uh, where you're holding something, basically the people who did athletics checks last round may do a athletics check instead. So everybody can athletics. Does, does endurance do anything? What was the question? Does endurance do anything? If you would like to justify using endurance, you can do so. Okay, sorry, because like I think somebody else was talking at the time. So if, if I used on previous round uh, athletics, did I understand correctly that I can use it this round? Basically, you, there's a big gust of wind coming. So if you were yes. helping the riggings, you can choose to use acrobatics or athletics. Because basically, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use athletics then. All right, looks like uh, Basil was the lowest and still made medium DC. So the gust of wind passes, uh, shakes the ship a little bit, but does not hurt anyone. Actually, one, two, three, four. I'm missing someone's check. Who am I missing? Uh, Tass, Basil, Tassin. Don. Don? Has a, Don, oh, Don rolled way up there. I see it now. So, all right. Uh, gust of wind passes, um, and you see a, at the beginning of the, or sorry, at the end of the round, beginning of the round, however, you see a lightning bolt kind of fly out of the sky and slam into the center mast. When it does, you see roots light up all over the mast and then die out. Like, it was protected from that lightning strike, but not, might not be protected again. Nazar, you're up. I have no bloody idea what, uh, what can I do. So the, uh, the riggings are pretty much stowed. Um, you can help clear the decks because there's a lot of rubble and debris, um, and there's also the corpses of the former enemies there. Um, to help people move around. Uh, you could help restore some of the lights. Um, you could help with the, the rudder and trying to steer the ship away from hitting uh, anything as it goes into port. Um, or you could try to help the wounded. I will continue the heavy lifting, meaning getting the useless shit lying on deck from, from the ship, like bodies, threw them in the water, rubble, threw them in the water away. So I guess another athletics check? Mm -hmm. Alright, so you get some of the stuff out of the way, kick the corpses of the snakes, and sweep a big uh, pile of bats off the side of the ship. Uh, Tassin, you're up. Can I do anything with engineering, endurance, insight, or religion? Can you do anything by saying I endurance it? No. Can you try to think of what your character would do in the situation and justify one of those actions? Yes. I don't think there's anything I can do with these actions that would help our situation. That's the only thing I'm trained in. Um, can I use perception to guide the, the ship 
guy that's steering? Yeah. All right. I mean, you have an advantage. You are the only person with dark vision here, so you can easily guide us. The only one who can see. Yeah, your check's probably against easy DC, let alone the fact that you're pretty good at it. So, uh, watching the ship, you can help them direct, since you're at the front of the ship, screaming back to them that they... Um, and with your check, and then moving the side, uh, as long as someone is at the rudder this round, um, they will be able to steer away from the uh, from slamming into the dock. Will do. Guru, you're up. Okay, so I'm in my animal form. I'm going to move across. Oops, sorry. Two, three, four, five, oh, six. The, jumping down. The clearing of debris means that uh, while you're on the ship, you guys have a plus two uh, speed bonus. Oh, really? Well, then I'm going all the way over here, uh, jumping down uh, from the upper, upper level to here to this level. Okay. And I'm going to uh, turn into my hybrid form and just uh, yell to the sailors, Come on, pups. The captain promised a promotion to everyone who, who does well today. Do well and you'll be well in life. <clears throat> so it's a bluff. Yep. Because... All right, so uh, people start scrambling to get things done. A couple of them notice that uh, you know you get you guys are right at the edge of the port. Um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, and uh, people start you know moving double time, um, partially to save their own lives, partially because now that they have someone else who's yelling at them, um, they're able to move a little bit more with a purpose. Draco, you're up. Evil help. I will assist in stowing the sheets, the mast. What? Um. Okay, so you're helping with stuff on the ship using athletics, I guess? Yes. Okay, do the thing. Hit the button. Score the points. Someone needs to steer the, steer the rudder, correct. Now you guys have seen the danger of the docks and now need to get out of the way from hitting it. Yeah, I'm right back here at the wheel, so I'll be happy to do that. Uh, do, 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 Don, all right, so medium DC. Lucla, you're up. Uh, how, how do you want me to check for steering the wheel, or should I try to justify it for it, you? It is a strength check, unless otherwise just justified. I'll use a strength check then. Okay. Thanks. Go ahead. Temple pilots. Stone Temple Pilots. Oh, stone Temple Pilots. Oh, my God. Lucle? Yeah, it's just a, I don't have a button for it, apparently, so. Well, a pure strength check doesn't come up very often. Just do your uh, athletics minus five. You don't have a racial bonus. Right, I just did a... I got a 23. But what's your strength? It's easier this way. Yeah, four. Strength, is, strength is plus four. So what's so your half level? Because you do add half Yeah, so level. that's a hard DC straight off the bat. That's great. All right. So slam the rudder into place, and you can see uh, bits and pieces of this over here, uh, the side of the ship, kind of um, clip the... Um, the dock as it goes through and break off a couple of pieces of those little uh, those glass orbs. Um, but the light doesn't die down and you're able to narrowly avoid hitting the dock itself. Basil, you're up. Okay. Um, so in my move action, Ginger's going to return after, you know, giving me an update on the girl. Go to the door and stuff. Um, does she say anything relevant? Uh, Ginger says that the, the girl has um, put on her heavy, heavy cloak and is holding that thing close to her and is preparing to come outside. All right, I'll tell her to guard her and return back in there. And then um, I'll uh, fly, I guess, to the 
to the center of the deck here and uh, I don't know, join Kuro in trying to inspire the crew. Maybe I'll play a nice like uh, tune to go behind his his speech. Okay. Okay, and I will use words of friendship with it. Here we go. Diplo plus five. Uh, there we go. Right. One second, I need to uh, broken and I don't know how to fix it. Oh. All right, so that definitely will succeed. Um, at the end of the round, one more complication. And complication four, which is one, two, three, four, lightning strike. Uh, a lightning bolt comes out of the sky and slams into the center of the dock. Um, or sorry, slams into the center mass, covering it up with uh, little discharges of lightning. Everyone who's on the center portion of the ship, that is the spot between the two light beams. So uh, Draco, uh, Ginger's inside. So Draco and Nahazar. Um, you each take uh, eight points of lightning damage, or six points of lightning damage, sorry, because we're six. Oh, damn, Draco was at one damn bit. So Draco goes back into this. I'm just slightly bloodied. And he's already used his second wind and heals. Has, oh, he, well, he has one heal, but he hasn't used it yet. Yep. Damn it. So, um, what I need for you guys to do is, on this map, Take a look at where you currently are. So, uh, I need for you to type in chat, I know where I am, by paying attention to where you are on this map. I'm gonna stay there. So, do 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 do. I uh, got Tassin, got Ukla, got Kuro, Basil, Don, Nahazar. Three, four, five, cool. All right, so I'm moving you guys over a map, um, but it's going to have the ship on it. That's why I'm having you guys do this. So this goes to the uh, token there. Oh, that's wrong. If you select them all at once and move, don't they stay in the same place? Uh, yes, but that the, the map is not oriented the same way. So... Someone's breathing into their mic. Yeah, I don't know who that is, but stop that. All right, so you guys should have all been moved over to the other map. Uh, and you should see the ship on the right-hand side. Uh, oh, hey, there's a war camel. Let's not have that there. Um, try to place yourself back on the ship where you were. If I knew where I was, where the hell am I? Oh, there I am. I know Draco was over here on the side. Yep, I'm here. Uh, the girl I'm trying to like find her. our tokens, period. Oh, there she is. Yep, she's here. Okay, so... Wind and rain and lightning strikes, all Draco, kinds of stuff. Draco, you're on the other side. Yeah, Draco, you're on the opposite side of where you're standing. So I'm going to add a whole bunch of things to the token layer. Oh, like this is going to be hard. <laughs> so as you guys uh, manage to, to pull in a dock without crashing into the pier, if you guys see the pier down on the bottom left, that's the thing you missed. Um, you guys manage to make your way in with uh, minimal discomfort as you uh, run the bottom of the ship up to the shallow waters just on the outside of the docks. Um, you can tell this part is designed for much smaller ships, and but the damage to the ship will be minimal. Uh, there is fighting and pandemonium going on all over the docks as creatures, these wraiths here, 
are pouring out of tunnel or uh, sewer entrances. So you have the sewer grate up here, and you have the sewer grate over here. They're pouring out and attacking people. Uh, several citizens are running around. There's a shrine in the top right, the one that had that lightning feeling and that was struck by lightning earlier, um, is over here. And it looks like a couple of the citizens are running to try to get aid there. Uh, you see a couple of Shatter Kai that are half shifted into rat form that are running around uh, clawing at citizens as well. Uh, two of the Shatter Kai, the ones that are over here, ha have pet rats um, and seem to be trying to kill other citizens. Uh, as you guys pull into the dock, the captain yells brace as you guys butt against the side of the docks. Uh, when that happens, uh, -boo -boo -boo. Uh, Iona takes a step out into the rain, and um, in, in between the, the flashes of lightning, you can see that thing that she's holding is giving off a ton of light, um, and she very slightly uh, basically uh, turns the, the top of the scroll case, and light floods out for the, throughout the area. Uh, I need for everyone to give me an endurance check, please. Yay. Oh, yeah. Oh, no endurance. endurance go thing that I'm good at. Endurance thing that I absolutely suck at. Oh, yeah. Good at. Oh, there's a piece of my macro missing. Oh, good. <laughs> Alright, so... Do -do -do -do. Uh, and I need to make sure to look at my cheat sheet real quick. So... It's strange that it's not working. Oh, wait a second. Uh, 11, 23, 11, 23. So, uh, everybody, if you made... Uh, the easy, or sorry, the hard DC gained the benefits of a short rest as that light washes over you. Uh, so that means I can spend a healing surge? So you gain all the benefits of a short rest. So you can spend any number of healing surges, you regain your encounter powers. All right. Um, if you made the medium DC, you can gain any number of healing surges and recover one encounter power. Oh, sorry, the, that's moderate DC, so if you made DC 15. If you made easy DC, you may spend a healing surge and recover one encounter power. <laughs> that's okay, so I got the you. full short rest with the medium. So short rest gives you, you can spend a number of healing surges and you regain one encounter power. So it's, Wait, wasn't it the hard for the short rest? So the 23 is a short rest. 15 is you can spend any number of healing surges and you get one encounter power back. 11 is you can spend one surge and you get one power back. If I get back my majestic word, does it get both uses out of it? It does not. It gets back a single use. I'll take uh, that. Question, so. was this, 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 did this felt like a divine power thing? It did. Oh, okay, that explains it. That's why I get nothing. <laughs> uh, Don, you rolled endurance and got an 8. Um, so you will... You have a bonus to this, so uh, you have a plus five from some other source, and that means it'll put you to uh, easy DC. So you get a healing surge back, or you're able to spend a healing surge and get um, one encounter power back. So go to a surge where the hit points, you are prone, and recover an encounter power. So I'm going to remove turns from the list. Uh, everyone, when you roll initiative, remember to add plus two to your initiative from Don. And by remember, I mean you're probably now learning this for the first time. Does anyone positively modify healing surges during a rest? Uh, maybe to part this? Uh, do you have a single rest check? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. So it's a uh, plus you? four. Okay. Hey, I'm first. That's kind of weird. I'm always last. All right. Don, you need to put yourself in initial order. 
like hit the button, do the thing. Is everybody's initial order on there? Mm-hmm. So, I apparently did not add my initiative modifier for some of my monsters. <laughs>